So looking at the Saints now for mm. 2024, they've got Geelong in round one away. Geelong Interesting in, one. Geelong in Geelong. Mm. It's, uh, if you're going to pick up a win on the road, it's one of the better ones. Like No matter where Geelong's list's at, which to be fair, the last 15 years, it's always been at the top. <laughs> but no matter where they're at, uh, picking up a win at Cadinia Park is is really going to help. And to do it start of the season, um, mm. very, very helpful. They're, they're such an interesting one, the Saints. Like, the yep. word, like using the term overachieved last year, like it's such a silly term because if you're playing at your best mm. and you do it consistently, you're a good you're a good side. And that's what Ross Lyon got out of his, out of his team to to manage a home final. Didn't win it, but uh, I don't think Saints fans can be too upset with where things were at last year. Um, from a personnel perspective, Paddy Dow probably doesn't start the season. Ben Patton misses a bit of time with a pec injury. But fairly fit, like Max King should be all good. They've just taken quite a cautious approach with him and given his history of shoulder issues and knee issues. And then um, as far as, yeah, the new talent, so Dow won't play. Um, I think Liam Henry gets a look and he's going to be pretty exciting for them. Adding to a, a small forward unit that already consists of Jack Higgins and Dan Butler. Um, midfield, you know, do we see more Mitch Owens in there or Mateus Filippo? Um Yes, you've got your steals. Sinclair could also be one making a move. So it's their midfield that's going to be quite interesting just to see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Brad Crouch and Jack Steele are kind of the stalwarts in there and do so well uh, on a consistent basis. Rowan Marshall, one of the best rucks in the comp, but yeah, who that next midfielder is. Um, if it's Owens, if it's Wintago, if it's Filippo. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite interesting to see if, if how that midfield stacks up because I think some of the stats last year for them, they conceded. I think it was the most disposals like uh, from so oppositions picked up the most disposals against them but they had the one of the best defense like conceded the least amount of points mm. so while they're not having a lot of the possession they're not really allowing their opponents to score which yeah sounds like Ross Ross line. yeah <laughs> so um if we see more of that it's gonna be interesting but they added heaps of speed like that was the name of their off-season plan yeah at, particularly at the draft like Dow's probably not gonna add too much he certainly can give a bit of a burst through midfield but Henry probably plays a bit more up on the wing or a half forward. And then Angus Hasty, Lance Collard, um, <coughs> some of these kids that they've brought through, um, whether they get a look this year or not, but it's going to be a lot of run, a lot of overlap, yeah. um, which is what Ross Lyon likes as well. Yeah, and just getting that, you know, like they didn't win, but that finals experience to those um, young developing kids that are like, yeah. in the list well, from last yeah, year that's, is... that's a good point as well. Yeah. yeah. like so Because they, they played... They were good for a lot yeah. of last year. They no, were kind of they forgot were. that they were in the top yeah. eight. <laughs> and the thing, they didn't have like a key forward for most of it. Yeah. Like Mateus Filippo and, and Anthony Caminiti and Mitch Owens were like their key forwards. Yeah. Like, two of them aren't full, like key yeah. forwards at all. And Caminiti was picked up in... January, like yeah. they did so well without memory and without King. Yeah, that and then you got you memory coming in, back. Yeah, coming as yeah. Well. Fingers crossed. He's, yeah. he's he's all good to start the season. So, um, all works there. Backline pretty steady. Um, you know, Wilkie and um, and Josh Battle did a pretty good job last year. Dougal Howard, serviceable. A couple of those guys are off contract though. So yeah, hopefully that doesn't play too much of a part in in their season. But um, a couple of guys they might want to to act on. Particularly Josh Battle. I think he's probably the biggest. Re-signing re priority for yep. 2024. Absolutely. All right. Exciting one for the Saints this mm. year.